Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see what is the JSON data type in Postgres SQL Server. Okay, so as usual, the agenda would be understanding JSON data type and then a practical demo. First of all, uh, you know, let us understand very basic what is JSON. So JSON is a JavaScript object notation. It contains a key value pair. So JSON string always contains a key value pairs. JSON is a human readable text different from any other formats. Okay, it, it is in a you know very human readable text. Objective of using the JSON is to transfer the data between a server and a web application. Supports native JSON data type since version 9.2. So basically, this is very important that Postgres SQL Server actually supports JSON data type. Now, currently, you know, as on date, even Microsoft SQL Server doesn't support a JSON data type. It has the compatibility or it has the operator to work with a, a JSON string, but it doesn't support a JSON data type. Provides many functions and operators for manipulating JSON data. So this is in a very Dutch cell, you know, uh, what is the JSON uh, data or a JSON value and uh, what we are going to see in a, you know, in our demo. Okay. So as usual, let us see what is there in our demo uh, let me open the environment uh, let me first drop the table if it is there and now you can see here i am creating a table json employee with id column and an employee info column which is of type json okay so i am creating a column with json data type let me create this column and if i query this table now we have two columns id and a employee info which is of type json now very uh, first of all let us see how to insert the value into the uh, json data type uh, you know json type of column okay so insert into json employee and then values and this is within this single code you can see this is my valid json string actually and you can see this is a key value pair combination so employee rakesh then employee details this is a one again a column but it contains a type of uh, you know a multiple key value pair so you can consider this as a uh, type of an array so it contains designation as manager department as sales and salary whatever salary is there right okay so this is a my valid json so until and unless you have a valid json string you can insert that into this uh, employee info column so let me insert this value inserted one row now here we inserted one row similarly you can insert in this way you can insert multiple rows or each json string uh, or the value of that column separated by a comma within the parenthesis so this is my one one value this is my second value and this is my third value okay so let me now insert execute this command and you can see inserted three rows so now when i query this table so you can see that we have four columns, sorry, four rows, one, two, three, four, and the JSON value or the column with a JSON value with a combination of their key and value. Okay. Now how to query this columns or, you know, separate out data. See here, basically, you know, it's an array and it's in type of JSON. So how to actually convert that into the proper uh, data. Okay. So there are initially very, in a very basic, uh, apart from other, uh, you know functions uh, there are main two operators uh, these are two operators with a single arrow return json object field by key and with a double arrow return json object by field of by object field by text okay so when we say key in text what i mean i would uh, i would show you okay so let us first use you know employee info so you can see here this is my column name how to query the table so with the help of select statement you need to do a column name you need to select a column name and then you need to use this arrow either this or this with double arrow depending upon the your requirement so we would see the difference between both of these two so let me get this query here and then okay right so with single arrow let us see how it looks like or what we get so now you can see it has actually returned us the name of the within the key value pair the name of that value that is you know for employee info because we are looking in an employee info table 
okay what we were looking we were looking for employee column you know it is a one type of column in json string so it has written rakesh swati rinkesh and chirag but still it is in the json form only so because you can see there are double quotes you know uh, starting and ending with the double quotes all the values okay so when you use this format or this operator with the same syntax of select statement you can see now that double quotes have removed which means what now this is being written as a text column and you can see here also that it is showing as a text and when you query this you can see here it is showing as a json okay so this is a key key this is a it is actually written in the key part this is actually written as the text part actually the information is the same but you know the type of the column which is type of the value which is written is different in both of these two so here you can see it is written as json and when i use double headed arrow then it can it is showing text and even you can see that double quotes are removed okay so now how to actually query the second column so here you can see actually there are two columns employee and employee details so similarly employee details so when i say employee details again you can see it is a type of json and you can see because it was an array actually it is returning back everything like you know designation department and salary for each and every column and similarly if we use the double headed arrow then you can see it is a type of text right and the double quotes have been removed similarly we seen in the employee info now because this returns a type of key actually you know it can further you know you can use this double headed code to get a further details on this so for example in employee details you can see here we are getting like you know uh, this is whole array we are getting but what if i want to know the values you know separately only for the designation or only for the department okay so what you can do is you can use employee info and then uh, in employee info table what column you want to query so you say that employee details query employee details column uh, let me yeah so in an employee info table employee info column what we want to see is employee details so this column and then with double headed you can say department so it will actually provide us you know the all the values in the department let us see by querying this see sales sales hr and id okay so it has now actually uh, given us the department values in the text format okay right similarly if you want to do a salary then you can use instead of department you can use salary okay and what if i want to you know uh, if i want to do all the column like more uh, uh, more columns one or more columns then we want to for example if i want a salary also and department also so you need to actually use this type of query now you can see sales and then it is actually showing us all both the columns okay this is my department and this is my salary right. right okay so the below query i have written is to get each and every data separated in different columns from my json employee table so you can see our id then employee info employee which will give us give me the employee name and then again in employee info with employee details i am separating out designation department and salary so if i write execute this query you can see all the like you know the json the full json value is now converted into different different columns this is this is really really uh, like you know uh, the excellent way you know uh, of doing this and you know this is very excellent that uh, postgre has actually supported the json data type and it's very easy to separate out the you know different columns from a uh, json string right so you can see now here each and every column in a json string is separated as a different column okay so this was you know very basic uh, querying uh, the you uh, know json column now with this till now we have just seen a select queries uh, actually you can use now this notation you can use in your where clause also so for example you know i'm i'm writing select star from json employee where 
Now again, this notation remains the same. That why I am actually saying that salary should be greater than whatever, like you know, we have specified one lakh fifty thousand. Now here, this is very important because now you can you had seen until now that with single uh, arrow, it is actually providing me the JSON type, and with double headed arrow, it is providing me to the text type of data, right? And that's where we need to cast it to integer. So whatever is written from salary. We are casting it to integer, and then we are comparing it uh, to filter the records that we want to get a record from an employee info table whose salary is greater than one lakh fifty thousand. I think these two records should be uh, retrieved. That is Swati and Chirayu. Okay, let me check this. Yes, we are right. So Swati and Chirayu. So this way you can use, you know, you can use now these operators into your where clause into your. Uh, Uh, you know, like operators into your order by clause, into your group by clause, and anything. Because when you use this notation, actually you are separating out the column from the JSON. Okay. Similarly, you can use with the like operator also. So simply employee info, and I am actually extracting the employee column, and then I am saying just provide me the data from the table whose uh, employee name is contains KE. Okay, so let us see. Yes, Rakesh and Rinkesh. We got these two values. Now, as I told you, you can have an aggregate. You know, you can use in. You can use this notation or this way. Uh, you know, in anything. So here, what I am doing, you can see here for salary. I am finding the total salary, minimum salary, maximum salary, and average salary. Okay. So when I execute this, everything converted into integer, and you can see here, like my. This is my sum. This is my minimum. This is my maximum, and this is my average. So this way, you know, you can use this notation in anything. Just separate out the column, and then like other normal queries, you can use that. Okay. Now let us, uh, you know, see certain. Of course, there are many many uh, JSON functions, but I, today we are going to see only some basic JSON functions. So first is the JSON each. Which allows us to expand the outermost JSON object into a set of key value pairs. Okay, so let us see what does this mean. JSON. I am using JSON each here, and now you can see here. Actually, it has given us the outermost. What it is saying that allows us to expand the outermost JSON object. So, what was JSON object? Outermost one was employee, and one was employee details. Okay, let me show you again. So in our JSON string, there were two outermost object. One was employee and one was employee details. So with JSON each, actually it provides us these two in a separate separate rows, and hence we got a eight rows. So one is Rakesh and its details, Swati and its details, Rinkesh and its details, and Chirag and its details. Okay. So one was employee and another was employee details. Okay. And if we now again, this is again in the same that it is coming as a JSON type. Now, if you JSON each text, okay, then this would get converted into the text format. See here, you can see here for employee Rakesh, all right. Let me show you again. You can see the Rakesh and designation and everything was actually, uh, you know, prefix and suffix with the double quotes. Now here, with the JSON text, you can see that double quote has been removed. For employee, so employee Rakesh, designation Swati, and so on. Okay, so this way you can use JSON each, right? Currently, you know, you will. I am just showing that how to use this function. You know, actual applicability would be, you know, depending upon your requirement or whenever actually you you start using this, uh, you know, uh, using the JSON function, uh, JSON data type. Uh, then I think it would be more, uh, you know, useful uh, sometimes to having. Uh, the data in this format. Okay. Second is JSON object keys provide a set of keys in the outermost JSON object. Again, here it was JSON each and JSON each time. Here, here it is JSON object keys. Okay. So let me show you. So it is just actually providing us what in the outermost part that is designation department salary designation department. So basically, you know, uh, this is actually providing you the column name. Or for the outermost object. So for you know for employee details, how many columns? So it may be sometimes uh, you know uh, 
uh, very helpful that we if you want to find out that in each record how much you know what are the columns being used so of course if you use this distinct clause here then you will get only three records and then you can check that in my employee details array we are actually having three columns right so it can be useful in that way okay and the third one was third one, third one is json type of so it will actually provide us you know the returns the data type of an outermost json value as a string so let us see so you can see here all the types are of string obviously employee details you know designation because we are saying designation let us see what it comes for salary it is what a salary or give me a second i say okay. i think okay So now you can see here it is a number. See in PostgreSQL it is a you know case sensitive you know the values. So if I write basically here s as in a smaller part, then actually it is giving me a null value. Okay. So when I say salary in a proper format or a proper case, then it is giving me a number. So with the help of JSON type of, it will show you the uh, you know what type of data or what type of data type is being used in your outermost uh, JSON value, right, guys? So this was you know very strong. JSON you know data, with the JSON data type, Postgres SQL Server has provided provided so many functions which we cannot cover uh, you know into the single session. So I have just uh, you know this is a very basic. Uh, JSON, you know, uh, the info on the JSON data type uh, with the basic operators and with the basic functions, right? Uh, I would surely, you know, uh, create more videos on the JSON, JSON data type in future. Uh, but for now, I think this should be okay uh, for you to start, you know, exploring the JSON data type. So, hope you have enjoyed this uh, video, guys. And uh, uh, don't uh, forget to press the like button uh, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, see you next time in next uh, video uh, with some good topic. Till then, bye and take care.